Today we are swapping out this toggle switch with a more modern rocker switch. So stick around. We are going to update these outdated toggle switches with a little bit more modern rocker switch which is a little bit more flush to the wall, a little bit cleaner of a look. So first thing we want to do is make sure that we turn the breaker off at the panel, take the faceplate off, check um, the switch for any current, make sure that there is none coming in from uh, the top or the bottom, uh, the hot, any of the hot. Um, take the screws out of the box, out of the electrical box there, and we are going to gently pull it out. And we have cloth wiring. Look at that. This is a very old house, so this is not very surprising. We're going to have to get that taken care of, but for the meantime, uh, we will just go ahead and swap out the switch. This is a single pole switch, meaning uh, that switch controls nothing but, uh, in this case, the ceiling fan uh, in the house. It doesn't control any other outlets or there is no other way for that ceiling fan to get turned on. Uh, this is the only switch that does that. There are two hots. Um, basically, a single pole switch is just a, it's just a break in the hot, so both of these are the same. There's not a neutral, and um, given the age of the home, as well as the age of this wiring, there's also not a ground, and there is no neutral uh, inside of that box either. So um, essentially all we've got here is two hots. We're going to take the um, new rocker switch there and simply reattach the screws. So you can see that they um, unscrewed from the side of the one switch of the original toggle switch. Now we're going to take a pair of needle nose pliers and just make sure that this clamp down nice, pinch it down nice and uh, tight so that when you do screw um, the screw back down, it gives it a nice, secure, firm connection. That's really important. Uh, you'll also want to hook it um, that way clockwise because righty tighty lefty loosey for lack of a better term here but as you're tightening it down you want to make sure that um, uh, it, it doesn't twist or spin off in the other direction and that can happen if you um, if that hook on the wire is more counterclockwise so put it back in reattach it to the box And that's going to be it. Put a new faceplate on there as well. Again, these toggle switches or these rocker switches, you can buy them in contractor packs. Uh, you can buy them individually. They're only a few dollars. So uh, this is a very simple and quick fix to kind of modernize your home. And um, it also is a little bit cleaner looking with the fresh new white as opposed to typically dirty light switches or the older manila light switches. And there you have it from start to finish. That's a pretty simple one. Uh, typically if there's a ground, there's a green screw uh, where a bare wire needs to be wrapped around uh, the screws, but uh, in this case, very uh, easy to do and you don't need to hire somebody to do it.